Hi Kim, um, this video features the purple model 52 that we've been talking about. Um, you want me to point out a few things in the video. I have ran through a couple different threads. Um, the one that I'm running now is a size 50 and I know that's a little bigger than a regular domestic thread. Um, that's about the biggest I have here on hand. Um, that's a 50 and that is both in the needle and in the and and on the bobbin. And it seems to be doing fine with that with the size 18 needle. Um, I did attempt to run button and carpet thread through and I'm not sure what size this is but it's basically like rope. It it let it go through but it didn't like it very well and I think that's a little heavier than upholstery thread is anyways. I think button and carpet pretty much require the special sewing machine. So, But the size 50 ran through nicely. Um, in leather and regular fabric and I'll run this through here in just a minute. Um, there are a few dings on the bed. Very, very small, minor. There's one here, here, and here. It almost looks like the tip of a pair of scissors maybe just uh, ding the paint there. But other than that, the cosmetics are very nice. Um, class 15 bobbin, of course. It is double needle capable and actually it comes with a double needle if you want to do some double needle sewing. Here's your purple box with seven of the double sided cams. So actually there's 14 patterns because each side has, each cam does two. The zipper foot, I do not have a low shank, <coughs> excuse me, walking foot. Oh, I have a super high so it won't work. And some bobbins. Um, cam of course goes up here on the top. Um, it, 1.2 amp tabletop ready. It, you know, it, it, it's a beast. And like I said, I am running it with the size 18 with the size 50 thread right now. So let's get set back up here and I'll run that through. This is just a regular um, cotton sample. And the little noise that you hear is the, this little plate here, it's just loose enough that when it sews, it kind of vibrates against, and I thought about having my husband maybe put a little piece of felt there. But that's the noise that you hear, because if you notice, when I put my finger on it, it stops. And that's through just the cotton sample. Now this is a leather. I'm not sure of the ounces, but I mean it's pretty decent. And that's the leather sample. Made nice stitches through. I need the tension needs tweak just a hair there, but as you can see, it didn't have a problem with the leather. It's doing fine with the size 50. I don't know how that compares to something else that you might use, but that is the size 18 needle. Um, the clearance on the presser foot is something else I wanted to show you. And grab some quarters. I almost forgot. You asked about that. And this is with the pressure all the way down on the top. And even with the pressure all the way engaged, I can still get five quarters under. If you let off the pressure, it's going to be phenomenal. I, I can get like seven under there. Another one. Quarters are kind of universal, so there's a six. Six with more lift, and that's with no pressure on it. But that's the wonderful thing about a Kenmore with your thick blankets. It'll be really easy to get under the foot. Lift it up and get it under there. Um, feed dog drop, of course. 
buttonholer um, on the knob here, R and F, and the instructions for buttonholes, if you want to make them, are actually under the lid on the accessory box. It's pretty cool. Explains how to use the R and F. But that is the Purple Monster Model 52 1.2 amp. Um, email me and let me know where you want to go from here. Thanks.